response. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of the Separation of Powers Restoration Act of 2016. I want to thank Chairman Goodlatte for giving me the opportunity to lead on this issue, and I want to thank the 113 members of Congress who believe this bill is important enough to co-sponsor it. And it is my sincere hope that all 435 members of this House will vote in support of this incredibly important bill, because every member of this body took an oath to defend the Constitution, and none of us should accept the constitutional erosion and infringement that is having a devastating impact on the very constituents that we all swore to represent. Mr. Speaker, I ran for Congress because I wanted the opportunity to address the big issues of our time, to address the real problems that are hurting all Americans, and the Separation of Powers Restoration Act does exactly that. This bill repeals the so-called Chevron Doctrine, and in so doing, will restore the constitutional separation of powers that our Founding Fathers intended. Named for the Supreme Court's 1984 decision in Chevron USA versus Natural Resources Defense Council, the Chevron Doctrine has for three decades required courts to defer to agency interpretations of ambiguous laws. Said more plainly, Mr. Speaker, this means that when American citizens and businesses challenge federal regulators in court, the deck is stacked in favor of the regulators. Chevron deference is one of, if not the, primary driving force behind an outrageous expansion of a regulatory branch that our Founding Fathers never intended, and one that is crippling the American economy and the American people. Unelected bureaucrats now draft regulations with the Chevron doctrine in mind, knowing that it will give them the ability to regulate, sometimes for political gain, beyond the actual scope of the statutes that we pass as the duly elected representatives of the people. Mr. Speaker, by allowing unelected, unaccountable regulators to effectively grade their own papers, we're circumventing the will of the American people. Under Chevron, Congress can't prevent agencies from engaging in de facto lawmaking, and courts are abdicating their constitutional responsibilities to interpret laws. My bill will very simply fix this perversion of our Constitution by ensuring that Congress, not agencies, write laws, and that courts, not agencies, interpret laws. Mr. Speaker, it's vitally important to stress that my bill is entirely agnostic to specific policy issues. It doesn't specifically <laughs> support or oppose any certain regulatory actions. This bill is simply about defending the Constitution, about reestablishing three co-equal branches of government. And this is not and should not be a partisan issue. The candid truth, Mr. Speaker, is that the Chevron Doctrine has been abused by Democrat and Republican administrations alike for three decades. Both have been guilty of abusing the separation of powers for political expedience, and it is the American people who have been victimized by this. So let's end it. Let's finally fix a problem that plagues all Americans. Mr. Speaker, many of us believe that the American experiment has endured in large part because of the wisdom and the thoughtful manner in which our framers crafted our Constitution. I refuse to believe that we can't all at least agree on that. I refuse to believe that restoring three co-equal branches of government needs to be controversial. Today, this body has an opportunity to stand up for and with the American people and stand against overreaching bureaucrats that the American people never elected. So, Mr. Speaker, when the Constitution is restored, it is the American people who will win. And with that, I yield back.